Hello beautiful people, welcome back to Craniac Gaming. We are back with the Colorado State Dynasty here on NCAA Football 14. And make sure you guys hit that like button, hit the sub button if you're new, and also click on that notification bell to join the notification gang. But anyways, let's get into the video. So last time out, we had a tough time against Boise State. Couldn't really do anything against them at all. And we ended up losing 33 to 13. So we dropped the three and five, and now we take on Nevada. And Kirk Herbstreit actually has us winning this game, which is kind of a shocker to me. But at the end of the day, Nevada hasn't really beaten any quality opponents. They actually lost to Boise State worse than we did. But this should be an interesting game. And some unfortunate news that I touched on last video. Trey Thomas suffered a broken collarbone last game. And he's going to be out for the rest of the season, so... That's going to do it for his college career. He is a redshirt senior, so we won't be getting him back next year. But the show must go on. And we're in a bit of a pickle right now. The bad news is we're 3-5, and five, and we're two losses away from being ineligible for bowl contention. The good news is Utah State is the only team that we play for the rest of the year that has a winning record. After Nevada, we take on New Mexico. Then we play at Utah State, and we end the season against Air Force. So we could at least get to 6-6, six and six, which would be great. I don't know if we'd make a bowl game at 6-6, six and six, but let's just take care of Nevada first and then we'll worry about that later. But anyways, let's get into the video now. Nevada gets the ball after our first drive stalls out, and Ty Gangi, the quarterback, gets dropped for a four-yard loss. And third and five, Gangi over the middle finds Caleb Fossum, who makes the grab for the first down and gets pulled down by his face mask. So they get an additional 15 yards. You're welcome, Nevada. So now first and 10, handoff to Jackson Kincaid, and he's going to cut inside, pick up 10 yards in the first down. So new set of downs there in Colorado State Territory, second and 10, and here's a dump off to Kincaid. Another first down for him as he's just carving us up so far in this game. But now they face a third and five. Gangi just has to throw it away. And their drive stalls out. They're going to try a long field goal here. About a 49-yarder, and their kicker's going to make it. So it's 3-0 Nevada. First and 10. Colin Hill going to dump it off to Cameron Butler. And Butler going to pick up the first down on an 11-yard gain. So now first and ten, a little triple option action. Hill pitches it out to Marcus McElroy. He's going to pick up the first down. If he had a little more speed, he could have got to the end zone. But I'll take a 21-yard gain any day of the week. Now a third and eight. Here's Hill. Going to throw right side. Nearly intercepted right there. But it falls to the turf and complete. So on fourth and eight, we decide to go for it. It's a little too far for our kicker. And Hill going to overthrow the intended receiver. And we turn it over on downs. But then on third and ten, Fossum not able to get the first down. So Nevada punts it right back to us after a three and out. So now second and 13. And an absolute dot to Tyler Smith. And Smith going to get up to about the 26-yard line for the first down. So then here's Hill. Going to find Preston Williams for an eight-yard gain. Now on second and two. Little read option there. Hill going to pick up the first down and more up to about the six-yard line. A 12-yard gain in the play. Time winding down in the first. Here's Hill. Going to find Williams, and he's going to be stopped just shy of the end zone. And now on third and ten, here's Matthews up the middle, and he's going to punch his way into the end zone for the touchdown. We take a 7-3 lead with under a minute to go in the first. So now Nevada ball, time winding down, second and 11. Gangi trying to escape, but he gets brought down for the sack. Anthony Giusti able to bring him down, and... That leads to a third and 14 to begin the second quarter. Gangi under pressure, overthrows his intended target, and Nevada goes three and out. So now we face the third and 10. Here's Hill on the play fake. Over the middle, looking for Nico Hall, but he couldn't haul it in. No pun intended. And we go three and out. So now here's the second and 10 for Nevada. Kincaid going to be brought down just two yards shy of the first down marker. Then a third and two, a little option between Gangy and Kincaid. Stiff arms Braylon Scott to the ground, and he picks up the first down. So now second and seven, Kincaid on the counter. He picks up another first down. He's having a pretty solid game so far. Now third and two, Wright checks into the game, and Calvapelli Maka tries to stand him up, but Wright able to get the first down somehow, some way. Now they face a third and ten. Gangy over the middle, going to find McLean Mannix. 
over the middle for an 11 yard gain in the first down. And third and eight, looking for the screen and Kincaid gets pushed out of bounds after only gaining a yard. So Nevada gonna try another long field goal here. It's a 51 yarder this time. And again, it's good. So they make it a one point game. Midway through the second quarter. Here's Hill left side, finds Nico Hall this time. Up the left sideline, he gets pushed out of bounds at the 39 yard line. And a big first down for us there. Now a third and 10 over the middle to Preston Williams. He gets inside the 20 for another first down. Now a third and two. Here's a handoff to Matthews. He's not going to pick up the first down. Loses the yard as a matter of fact. So on fourth and three, we decide to go for it again. Hill going to throw left side looking for Williams. And it falls to the ground incomplete. We turn the ball over on downs yet again. But on third and ten, Nevada going nowhere. Kincaid stop for a yard. And we get the ball back with about a minute to go. Let's see if we can do something with it. As Hill's going to lay this one out for Butler, who makes the grab. We're again in Nevada territory. Now second and three. Throw to the right side. We find BC Johnson. Steps out of bounds at about the 25. Now first and ten. Here's Hill. Looking to the right side. Finds Williams again. And Williams inside the 15 now. Tom winding down in the second quarter. Here's Hill rolling out to the right side and steps out of bounds, loses eight yards. Doesn't really count as a sack, but still it's a second and 18. And then Hill going to let it fly, and he finds Smith in the back of the end zone for the touchdown as we take an eight-point lead into the half. Not really the best half of football that we played this season, but still pretty solid. We still have an eight-point lead, and we still have not allowed a touchdown so far in this game. But now a third and ten to open up the second half, and a grab by Caleb Fossum for the first down as Nevada starts the second half with the football. Now third and 14. They're looking for the screen this time, and Kincaid has some space, but we're going to catch him as he only gains two yards on the play, and they have to punt it away now. So now we face the third and four. Here's Hill in the play fake. Throws to the left side, finds Hall wide open. He's going to pick up the first down up to about the 38-yard line. So now second and 10, handoff to Matthews. And here's a spin move there, and he picks up about 10 yards just shy of the first down marker. And in these situations, you know what we like to do. Just give it to the fullback. Prentice is going to pick up three yards in the first down. So then on first and 10, a little triple option action again, and plenty of space for Colin Hill. Pitches it out really late to B.C. Johnson, and he gets up to the 24-yard line for another first down. Now, first and 10, Hill going to find Johnson wide open inside the 10-yard line. And now we have a chance to make it a two-possession game. Third and goal, however, Matthew's not going to go anywhere. Probably should have thrown it there, but I'll take the three yards. And we're just going to settle for an easy field goal to make it 17-6. So now Nevada gets the ball back. It's a second and seven. Gangi under pressure. Sam Hubbard's going to get to him for a seven-yard loss. And now Nevada facing a third and 14. Here's Gangi back to pass. Throws it. And he's actually going to find Travion Armstrong, who just completely burns Kava Pele Maka and gets Nevada a huge first down in the process. So now first and ten. Here's Gangi. Just going to dump it off to Kincaid. He's going to pick up a really easy first down. Nobody was even close to him. Then on first and ten, very next play, same thing happens. Kincaid able to pick up another first down, just getting underneath. Now they face a third and six. Here's Gangy. Dumps it off to Kincaid again, but this time Watson able to get there to make the stop. And Nevada has to settle for another field goal. This one closer than the previous two. And they're 3-for-3 three three on field goals so far in this game. It's 17-9. to nine. Now the ensuing kickoff. Here's Tyler Smith. He's been knocking on the door all season. And he's not going to get a touchdown here, but he gets inside of Nevada territory. And we start the drive off with great field position. And here's Matthews weaving his way to another first down inside the 35. And now we have a chance to make it a two-possession game yet again. First and ten. Hill going to throw it right side. Finds B.C. Johnson, who's going to get up to about the 11-yard line. And now first and ten. Hand off to Matthews, weaving through traffic again. And he gets to about the one-yard line. McElroy checks in now. Here's the pitch outside. And he's going to find his way into the end zone for the touchdown. 
And once again, we're up by two possessions. Tom winding down in the third quarter. Here's a first and ten for Gangy. Goes right side, finds Armstrong, who breaks the tackle, leaves up the right sideline. Braylon Scott going to bring him down at about the 34. And a big gain in the third quarter for Nevada. Now third and five, screen pass to Kincaid. And a huge hit from Scott going to put him down. Three yards shy of the first down marker. And now Nevada pretty much has to go for it here. And Gangy going to find Armstrong who breaks away. He's going to get into the end zone for the touchdown. However, there's a flag on the play. They're going to be called for clipping. It does give him the first down, but it negates the touchdown. So first and ten, here's Gangy. Goes right side, finds Mannix, who gets up to about the six-yard line. So now it's a first and goal for Nevada. And on second and goal, here's Gangy. Left side, finds Brendan O'Leary Orange in the end zone for the touchdown. As VJ Banks gets beaten again, no surprise there. They decide to go for two, and Gangy going to throw inside to Mannix for the two-point conversion. So now it's a one possession game, third and four, and Johnson going to make the clutch grab in traffic for the first down. And now he faces another third and ten. Hill going to go left side, overthrows Nico Hall. And now we have to punt it away. Now Nevada has the chance to tie the ball game up. And then Gangi going to find Fossum for the first down. And Nevada has plenty of time. They don't really have to rush anything. But on second and ten, Gangy gonna go right side, gets intercepted by Hawkins. And that's actually the first turnover by either team in this game. And now we have a chance to put it away. Second and five. Hill over the middle finds Williams, who gets up to about the 25-yard line. Now a third and six, a very critical third and six. And Hill gonna dodge defenders, finds Hall, who gets up to about the three-yard line. And now we face a third and goal. Here's Hill. Going to throw to the right side, finds B.C. Johnson in the end zone for the touchdown. As we take a two-possession lead with just about two minutes to go in the game. And now Nevada kind of in panic mode right now as they need a touchdown, an onside kick, and another touchdown. All in about two minutes. Now a third and one. Ganga gives him to throw the screen to Kincaid. And Kincaid's actually going to pick up the first down here. But Nevada running out of time. First and ten. Gangi under pressure. Has to throw it left side, finds Mannix, and Mannix going to pick up about eight yards on the play. Nevada still hasn't used any of their timeouts yet. Second and two, Wright going to catch the swing pass for the first down, gets out of bounds. So now first and ten, here's Gangy. Going to throw to the left side, and he finds Mannix for another first down. And that stops the clock momentarily at least, but after a false start, it's first and fifteen. Gangy going to throw this one up and a beautiful grab by Armstrong who gets inside the 10-yard line. And now it's a first and goal. Hand off to Kincaid up the middle. And he's going to pick up about six yards on the play. That brings up a very manageable second and goal from the three. And Gangy going to find O'Leary Orange in the end zone for a second time. Under a minute to go. Nevada has to get this onside kick. But they're not going to get it. Jackson hauls it in, goes down, and now we just got to get one first down and this game's over. And on first and ten, Izzy Matthews puts the ball game away by picking up the first down. We walk away with a 31-24 victory over Nevada. And honestly, this was a really fun game to play. Nevada definitely gave me a hard time throughout. But overall, we played mistake-free football. Not a single turnover after turning the ball over four to five times last game and just a great game for Matthews and Hill just to name a few and this is how we got to play the next three weeks as well next week we take on New Mexico then Utah State then Air Force New Mexico State shouldn't be too hard of a game to win as long as we play like we did today but I'm really worried about that Utah State game while not overlooking New Mexico because you never know what could happen but, again, if we play like we did today, offensively and defensively for the most part, then I think we'll be fine over the next three games. I think we will end up getting over 500, and we will end up being full eligible. Anyways, make sure you guys hit that like button. Hit the sub button if you're new. Click on the notification bell to be a part of the notification gang. And if you want to support the channel in a more personal way, you can always pledge to my Patreon account. 
The link's in my description as always. Anyways, you guys have yourselves a wonderful rest of your day, and I know whenever you're watching this, like I always say, no matter what happens, make sure you keep that mofo rolling. I'm out of here. Deuces. Got they trying to turn me to a monster. Every year I'm a conquer. Okay, see, I bring the thunder. Walking in humble, I leave my homies. Then you like bumble. Running with pride. Ten over, I still a bliss. I don't fumble. Blind my